This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of teeth number 30 and 31. Approximately two years ago, and patient was in a lot of pain. Take a look here. So you can see crowns, of course, previous root canal, prefab metal post, huge peripheral dyslexia here. That was tooth number 30, tooth number 31. Again, you can see previous root canal, post, huge peripheral dyslexia here. As I said, patient had pain associated with both teeth. So we discussed options with the patient and patient wanted to try to see if these teeth could be saved by redoing the root canals. And that's what we did. We went through the crowns and redid the root canals for him. As you can see, almost two years ago when I first saw him for the consultation. So let's take a look at the radiographs together. So this is immediately after we redid the root canal on tooth number 31. We started with tooth number 31. So went through the crown and redid the root canal on tooth number 31 in one appointment. So this is immediately after we had redone the root canal on tooth number 31. Remember there was a post here. The apical diameter of the distal canal was over 50. So I placed an MTA plug here followed by gutta percha and sealer and of course this is all gutta percha there is some sealer extrusion here as well again we redid this root canal in one appointment and as you can see here's the date this was immediately after we had read on the root canal on tooth number 31 patient came back to see me a few days later for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 30 so let's look at that And here it is. So we went ahead and redid the root canal on tooth number 30, went through the crown. There was a post here, removed the post and redid the root canal. Again, redid the root canal in one appointment and look at all the anatomy that we were able to capture. All right, and here's the date. As you can see, almost two years ago when we had redone the root canal on tooth number 30. So we first did number 31 and then patient came back a couple of weeks later and did we read it tooth number 30 and you can see the large pair of see there again we redid these root canals in one appointment mta plug and all that stuff we did redid them in one appointment will that cause endodontic failure going will going through the crowns instead of removing the crowns cause endodontic failure will redoing the root canals in one appointment versus multiple appointments cause endodontic failure Will sealer extrusions cause endodontic failure? Let's take a look again. As you can see, 10, 18, 20, 22, almost two years ago. All right. So let's look at the radiographs from today. And here it is. Two years post-op of teeth number 30 and 31. They have crowns on them. Of course, uh, it looks like actually the old crowns, the dentist just uh, refilled them. All right. Remember that large peripheral lucency here? Those peripheral lucencies there, they are all healed. Both teeth were in full function. Patient has zero symptoms. And here's the date, as you can see, 2-15-2024. Two years post-op of teeth number 30 and 31. So going through crowns did not cause endodontic retreatment failure. Redoing the root canals in one appointment did not cause endodontic retreatment failure. Sealer extrusions did not cause endodontic retreatment failure. Two years post-op of teeth number 30 and 31.